Hello guys, this is Sumadhar here. Uh, we'll be doing Chapter 7, Supply Chain Management from 12th edition of Operations Management by Heiser, Render and Munson. Uh, in this chapter, uh, I'll be focusing mainly on the numerical problems uh, that relate to three basic concepts. Uh, the first one of them being um, the inventory turnover. Oh, sorry, before that, uh, we have uh, percentage invested in the inventory. For example, for businesses like Home Depot, the percentage invested in the inventory is very, very high, and that also acts as a barrier to entry and exit. Uh, percentage invested in the inventory is nothing but uh, the cost in dollar value for the average inventory invested uh, divided by the total assets in dollars, uh, in, and that's calculated in percentage terms. Then the second one is the inventory turnover. The key point here is that the numerator has to be the cost of goods sold in dollar value divided by the average amount of uh, dollar value invested in the inventory. And the third one is the weeks of supply, which is the average inventory investment divided by the dollar value of the weekly cost of goods sold so in order to derive the weekly cost of goods sold it's the annual cost of goods sold divided by the 52 weeks in a year so this part right here gives us the weekly cost of goods sold which becomes the ultimate denominator now let's uh, look at some of the um, the numerical problems from the textbook uh, i'll be taking an example of uh, problem 11.5 and 11.6 okay that covers most of the the three concepts now in order to calculate the the uh, in this case first of all it's given the baker manufacturer wants to compare the inventory turnover with the industry average the industry leaders have an inventory turnover 13 times per year and eight percent of their assets are invested in the inventory okay now generally inventory turnover is considered as one of the performance measurements as to how well they're doing now this would vary from industry to industry and company to company within the within the industry uh, for example the inventory turnover of uh, let's say produce industry would be very high compared to let's say the oil uh, coal and steel industries uh, now given in this question first of all uh, we need to calculate uh, the baker's inventory turnover uh, baker's manufacturer so in, in, in the most simplest term, the baker's uh, cost of goods sold in a year is given to us here. And the cost of inventory uh, is about 1,250. Uh, Therefore, the inventory turnover is, as, as we just noticed, um, let me show it to you here. So... Let's see, where is that? Okay. So, as it's given to us, inventory turnover is cost of goods sold divided by average inventory investment. Okay. So, we're going to say equals to the cost of goods sold divided by the cost of inventory. Now, that inventory turnover comes out to be 17.2. So they are turning their inventory 17 times in a year, okay? The next one is, what is the baker's percentage of assets committed to the inventory? So we are already given the percent of assets committed to the inventory. Now this is all in dollar values, yeah? Uh, and the total assets is given to us as 16,600. Therefore, the percent of assets committed here the percentage of assets committed to the inventory is uh, the dollar value of inventory divided by the total dollar value of the assets and we can reflect that in percentage terms so inventory value divided by the total assets value that comes out to uh, 7.53 i'm going to show that uh, if you wanted to show that in percentage term, 
then we will format it as uh, the cell as percentage you want to see a few decimals so 7.53 yeah now we can compare right here the the baker is doing better than the industry leader which is 13 times a year and their percentage assets is also less than the industry average so their less money is tied in the inventory and they're turning it more number of times in a year therefore baker's performance is better than the less industry leaders better than the industry leaders okay then in the next question uh, we are given another distributor arrow distribution corporation we're going to calculate the same numbers in a similar format okay so inventory invested cost of goods sold in dollar values that gives us um, uh, oh this is for the weeks of supply so hold on so the, the the weeks of supply is like for example if you have the consumption of two bottles a week and you have 10 bottles in the refrigerator so the weeks of supply that you have is 10 divided by 2 which is 5 weeks so if you were to consume two bottles of milk a week and you have 10 total bottles in the fridge it will last you for five weeks that's the concept of the weeks of supply yeah so in order to get to the weeks of supply the easiest way to do this is if you remember here I told uh, average inventory investment divided by annual cost of goods sold divided by 52 weeks now I'll sh now let me show this to you there are two ways to do this either you calculate this uh, separate so we are given average inventory investment divided by annual cost of goods divided by 52 now this itself is one value okay so either you calculate this first as a numerator and you calculate this as a denominator and then you calculate the numerator divided by denominator or if you were to simplify this this can go here which becomes average inventory invested times 52 divided by annual cost of goods sold okay and I'll show you both the ways so but first we are going to do it this way okay so if we were to do the first this way uh, then we will be calculating oops, this one then uh, we calculate our weekly cost of goods sold which is 13,000 yeah 13,000 now it's cleared similarly if we were to do this our as a second way that we calculated here then we would do it equals to inventory invested times 52 parenthesis closed divided by 13,500 that will give us the same answer as 3.85 yeah and this is not uh, a dollar value this is uh, this says that if we sell on an annual basis 13,500 worth of goods where we have thousand dollar invested in the inventory uh, this inventory would last for 3.85 weeks okay rest of everything else is the same cost of goods sold is given to us cost of inventory is given to us therefore the inventory turnover is the cost of goods sold divided by the inventory okay 
that's simple and same thing for percentage of assets is the the percent the money invested in the inventory divided by the total assets and you can reflect this in the percentage terms um, if need be so this will be 11.63 we want to show two more decimals okay similarly if we were to calculate the the weeks of supply for the previous question then we know the the inventory invested is $1,250 the annual cost of goods sold is also given to us as $21,500 okay therefore either you calculate the weekly uh, sale which will be $21,000 divided by 52 and then we can divide the inventory investment by the weekly sale to get our weeks of supply or you can go the second route which is the inventory invested times 52 and whatever that comes out to be you can divide this by the annual sale that will also give you the same number okay so the first uh, number we got this by the the first approach where we calculate the numerator uh, as given and the second one we, we calculate this we solve this yeah we solve this one first before we divide it by the inventory invested in the second case we, we brought this denominator of 52 above which then gets multiplied so average inventory invested times 52 divided by annual cost of goods sold so that's the second approach that we did here okay either way the answer will be the same so this covers all the three concepts that are introduced in this chapter. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.